Hey guys, welcome to a very, very, very special and very rare car. Right behind me is a BMW M3 CSL. So for those of you who don't know, the CSL is a version of the E46 M3 that's kind of like a lighter, more hardcore, a little bit more powerful version of the E46 M3 and it came only in the automatic transmission. But man, this car is good. Okay, so if you weren't really a car person, you'd look at this car and say, oh, it's just an M3 or even maybe just it's a three series but you gotta look at close details like obviously the CSL badge but then when you really look closely you look at the roof and the roof is all carbon fiber to lower the center of gravity and just make the car lighter overall the back window is made out of thinner glass the trunk is made out of plastic the car just looks a little bit more aggressive overall now several tells in the interior to show you that this is a very special car obviously Alcantara steering wheel you see the paddle shifters right here because it is the automatic. These bucket seats are so aggressive. They hold you so tight. In the middle, it is all carbon fiber. No cup holders, no nothing. Nothing extra, just whatever you need and nothing else. The door panels are full carbon fiber, which is crazy for a car from the mid to early 2000s. But it does feel very solid. Honestly, it feels more solid than the regular M3. Okay, so let's start it up. So that's right up, and this car is actually a super low mileage car. 7,800 kilometers on the clock. It's crazy low for a car this old. Okay, so before we start driving, there's a few options we wanna select. We wanna put it in sport mode, and then this changes how aggressive and how fast the gearbox is. So we're gonna obviously put that to the most aggressive, which we already did. You can see the gauge right there. And now we're good to go. Okay, so M3 CSL, you know, there's a few cars that, you know, especially people my age, maybe a little bit older, kind of grew up watching uh, Top Gear, and, you know, there's certain cars, obviously, that if you live in North America, you're not going to get here because they're European-only cars or Japan-only or whatever it is, and this was definitely one of them, so, you know, I never thought in my life I'd get to drive one of these, so I never really put too much thought into it, but I'm not a BMW guy, but I knew exactly what this car is because there's the famous Top Gear episode. That Jeremy Clarkson drives one of these and it just seems so that episode. But you know, lighter versions of cars or just like a bit more hardcore versions of cars, you don't know if the car is actually that that much better than the regular car. And you know, half the people told me with this car not to have my expectations set too high. The other half told me it's the best car ever made. So I started driving it and the first thing you notice is once you get a little bit up there in the RPM range, the car honestly sounds like a McLaren F1. Like the, it's one of the best sounding cars I've ever driven. It's not particularly loud, but it just, it sounds so satisfying. And the biggest difference, honestly, this car feels so much stiffer than a regular E46 M3 and so much lighter. Usually, you know, when there's a lighter version of a car, you know the car is lighter because they tell you the car is lighter. I mean, you don't really feel. Also, that's what I'm talking about with the noise. But yeah, normally you don't really feel the weight difference on a, on a lightweight version of a car. With this one, you really do. It feels like they took an M3 and they hollowed it out. You know you're driving a car that's the same size, but it just feels so much lighter. Like, yeah, the best way to explain it is it literally feels like it got hollowed out. And it makes the car just move so well because anyways, the E46 M3, it's one of the best handling, the most fun cars ever made, you know. It's kind of known as the pinnacle of BMW. And, you know, it is also, there's a few different M3s that you can argue to say that they're the best M3. And a lot of people do argue that for the E46. But honestly, after driving this, and you know, now I've driven like the E30 Sport Evo, and I've driven the lightweight, the E36, I honestly think this is not only the best M3 ever made, I think this car is the best BMW ever made. Now, the one thing that I wasn't so sure about with the uh, CSL is that obviously on the regular E46 M3, the most desirable ones are the manual cars. The CSL is only the automatic gearbox. And you know, it's like the first gen of the single clutch automatics. They're really not fast. So I thought it's kind of really gonna 
take away from the experience of the car. But honestly, it still feels very, very, very engaging. I don't honestly see it as a problem. I think it's it's not terribly slow. It's honestly better feeling than like a Ferrari F1 gearbox from the same era, or even an E-gear gearbox from the same era. So I do think the car is still a ton of fun and very. it's so engaging with this. Honestly, I usually like shifting with the middle uh, shifter rather than with the paddle shifters. I feel like it's more satisfying. But it really doesn't take away from the experience. You can kind of bang through the gears a little bit and you still really feel the car doing everything. But man, I just can't believe how good this car is. Now, I don't know if they all feel as solid, like if there's a high mileage one, it will still, still feel as solid. This car has 7,800 kilometers on it, so, you know, it feels brand new. It feels like it was just built. The quality is incredible. Obviously, you know, driven engineering. Back then, they didn't really cheap out on anything. Oh, listen to that. The one thing, literally there's only one thing in this car that bothers me. Other than that, the car is honestly perfect. And it's a, it's all M3s pretty much are like that. I, I'm not sure about the new ones, but the steering wheel and the pedals are kind of offset to the right a little bit. So not directly in front of you. And it's just something you gotta get used to because you gotta kind of twist your body a little bit to steer into like, and to just, for everything it's like, you feel like you gotta twist your body a little bit and it gets a little bit annoying. But it just, how good the car is just makes up for it. The suspension is so stiff and it, it is a big car. It's not it's not a small car like by any means, but it feels like it just wants to get thrown around in corners and it will just keep going. Like you're not gonna lose grip. Oh my god. The car just wants you to keep going. Honestly, I think if I had a ton of money and a ton of cars, I'm not exaggerating, I would buy one of these and I wouldn't have a 7800 kilometer one. I'd drive it every day. I think I'd drive this the most out of any car because it's easy to drive. It feels like you can't throw it into quarters and stuff. They're not too expensive yet to the point where they're unattainable and I think they will get to that point because the car is that good. Oh, look, just think, the car is so responsive. You can just turn it and go wherever you want it. Again, this is a very low mileage car and a very nice car. I'm not gonna start turning traction control off or anything, but I, like, you know, I've driven the E46s before and they just wanna get, you know, thrown around a little bit. You can slide them if you want. I'm not gonna do it with this car because it's too rare and too valuable. Oh my God, this car is so freaking good. So, you know, I'm not a BMW guy by any means. You know, I've done videos before on the E36 Lite to it on the E30 Sport Evo. And those cars, I honestly, I drove them for, I don't know, three, four days. Really wanted to get a, get to know them, get to know the little things and find things that I like that I can talk about and, you know, find what's good about them. This car, I picked it up less than 24 hours ago. I didn't drive it like that much at all. I drove it a little bit to like one car meet last night. Uh, and then today I took it out in the morning to do this video and I can already find everything I love about this car. It, it's not you don't have to look the second you get in this car you will see that this is one of the best cars you'll ever drive in your life this is definitely top three cars i've ever driven for me like hands down no question about it and i didn't i didn't know if it was going to be like that and for me this is like kind of the iconic special version of the m3 so it is nice that a car that i kind of grew up liking even though i was never a bmw guy is it, extremely better than i thought it would be um but man, it, this is a special car. This is my top three cars I've ever driven for sure. It's it's not just a special BMW. This is a special iconic car. I, I, I think it, this is gonna go down in history as one of the greatest cars ever made. I think in 30, 40 years, these are gonna be the BMW to have. There's not gonna be a better collector BMW than this. I think this is, you know, this car was made in BMW's best era. After the E46, you know, it kind of went downhill a little bit. And this is the best version of that. This is, this has got to be the best BMW ever made, for sure. Okay, so we got a bit of a windy road right here. Can't get enough of that sound. Oversteer, no oversteer. The 
car is light enough that it just goes exactly where you want it to go and you know this has 355 horsepower so a little bit more power than the regular e46 m3 and you can really feel it especially with the weight reduction this even though this is an early 2000s car even by today's standards this is a fast car it's just the perfect amount of everything i can't believe how good this car is it's honestly the other cars i really have to look for something that i like and something to talk about this is just a great car and the one thing i love about this it's the most low-key car you could possibly drive. A, even a regular car person would think this is just an e46 m3 you know you do see a ton of them like not a lot of people know this is a CSL and just a, to a regular person this is an old BMW so you can really drive it anywhere nobody's gonna look at you at all you're not gonna get attention if you do get attention from somebody that really knows what you're driving so it's something somebody that's really gonna appreciate it and it's just for the driver this this is an experience just for the driver you know obviously you talk about drives amazing but you sit in here you have the carbon fiber doors carbon fiber in the center Alcantara steering wheel these seats are amazing they hold you so well they're tight they make the car feel special there's you know there's not no big screens or anything to distract you the car ages ages very well because of that but this is a driver focused car this is a true driver's car literally the definition of a driver's car is this it's just made for you it's not a show-off car it's nothing flashy just for you to scratch and enjoy man this car is good now it has been a year since the last time i drove a regular e46 m3 so again i'm not driving them back to back right now so i'm just kind of comparing based off memory but even when I got in this car, right away when I opened the doors and closed the doors, just there, I felt the car is a lot more solid and just very, very well built. But in the next month or two, I'm going to try to get Jason's E46 together with this car. And then we can actually do a straight up comparison, you know, driving back to back CSL versus regular M3 and really see what the differences are. But honestly... It drives like a completely different car. I told Jason this and I'm gonna tell him now because he's gonna watch the video. Jason, you gotta get one of these before these get too expensive. Because this thing is so freaking good. Listen to this. You can't get enough of this sound. Before I picked it up, Zach told me it sounds like a McLaren F1. And you know, I kind of took it with a grain of salt because it's an M3. How is it gonna sound like a McLaren F1? But this sounds like a McLaren F1, and multiple people have told me that since Zach told me that. So, you know, it's not out of nowhere. This thing truly sounds like the greatest car ever made. So, yeah, that sums it up for the E46 M3 CSL. Honestly, I'm so happy that when I got to experience this car that I honestly never thought I'm going to get to experience. But I can't believe how much it passed my expectations of the car. Honestly, it passed them by at least 50, 60%. You know, I knew the car was going to be good. Everybody talks about the car, but I did not think I'm going to say this is in my even top 10, 20 favorite cars of ever driven, yet alone my top three, potentially even my favorite. I can't believe how much I like this car. Honestly, I think hands down, this is the best BMW ever made, and this honestly might be one of the best cars ever made, like driver's cars. So yeah, stay tuned. Maybe in a month or two, we're going to do a comparison review of that in a regular E46 M3. Uh, and yeah, we got a few more things coming up in the next week, week and a half, and then it's off to car week. So make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.